guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with another St. Valentine's idea tutorial. This time it is for clover heart-shaped romantic earrings. I already showed you one variation of this, one possibility how to make earrings with this beautiful heart shape. And uh, you could see this down there in description with the whole St. Valentine's playlist. You could uh, do this variation if you want. But now I will show you this one. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials. Now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads, earring findings and by the way, down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Now let's continue. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 into 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. They are not obligatory, but I use them if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about three feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Hey guys, and I'm back and I'm going to show you how I'm making one of those cute little herringbone hearts. If you don't know the herringbone stitch, don't worry because it's really easy and I'm showing it step by step. So I'm sure you're going to be able to make them. First take four pink beads, slide those down and here you should make a knot. And how I make it, I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then just to be sure it's all tight and secure, I make one more knot. Okay, this is how I start. Now I have these beautiful beads next to each other in two rows and this is a good basis for the herringbone stitch, okay? And how I make it, I take two beads, I go backwards through one, like this. Then I go backwards in this direction through two and my thread goes like this between those beads here it is and this is the herringbone stitch it's really easy then i repeat this go backwards through one okay then put my thread here like this and I'm holding it with my fingers to stretch it and then go back. Okay, and I did four rows of herringbone stitch and I need seven here. So I need to do three more the same way. Okay guys, and now I have seven rows and in my next step what I want to do is get rid of this tail thread and how I do this, I'm going in this direction through the following bead and I could directly cut it or I could make one more knot like this going through between those beads and making a loop and pulling and then going in the next bead. By the way, you could put a needle to make this process easier, but I'm doing it like this now. And then I cut this tail thread. I want to remove it out of my way. Okay, 
now as I'm exiting here, what I need to do is take two beads and I'm going backwards like this through these two. Okay. Then I go through this one here and I take two again and I'm repeating basically the same herringbone stitch that I showed you but this time I will have in this direction five rows okay I have three rows now and I will show you faster uh, sorry I have two rows now and I will show you faster how I'm making three more rows <laughs> Okay, and now I want to exit out of this bead, but in this direction and how I'm going to do this, I go in this direction, then go through this bead here and diagonally I go through this one and because my thread is transparent it doesn't show. Okay, now from here on I need 12 pink beads okay guys and now I have 12 beads on my needle okay here they are 12 and as I'm exiting here from this bead I'm going in the same place here at this one okay and I pull just like this now I'm going to flip my work like this, okay. And I will go through the neighbor pink bead. Okay. Now I have this. I just flip my work and I went through the neighbor one, which is this one. And from here on guys, I'm going to make something like a herringbone stitch using these inner beads here and adding more beads at the edge. So first I'm going to take two beads, but in this direction I will go just through one and I will go also through the following. When I pull I have this. And like in the regular herringbone, I'm pulling my thread like this. I go here through these two beads, but also after I go through them, I go through the following. And when I do this, I start a little curve here. Then I take two more beads and I repeat the same thing. I go through this one here and then I go through the following like this. Okay, then again in this direction and through all of the beads here. And in this way guys I'm forming a curve here. Then again I take two, I repeat this step for the next the next beat as well okay so i'm going backwards more beats just to reinforce this whole curve that i'm making here okay okay and at three of the inner beats i added two at the outside then I will go through the following bead here but this time I will add only one bead not two as I did before but one then I will go through the following bead as well 
and here I'm also adding just one bead. And by the way, if you feel here something is loose and doesn't stay right, you could go backwards and reinforce this whole row as you come back. Okay. Because here we want a gradual and nice line around the corner. Okay, so here at my next two beads, I will go like this through them and I'm going to add three seed beads. Okay, I add two, uh, sorry, through those two, I'm adding three back in circle. You see what I do? I'm doing it like this. Then I will turn it to the center of my work. And I want to finish this part uh, in the same way, but first I'm going to one, add one here and one here. And then to these three beads, I'm add, going to add two, two and two. Okay, I'll show you this one slowly. Okay, I'm taking one bead, going backwards like this, and I'm adding it here. Then I'm taking one more going backwards through this one like in a regular herringbone but this time guys I will do an additional step because uh, here is a straight line uh, and I want to make it smoother I will go back and I will in this way I'm pulling these beads to go near to the center okay and then I will go backwards through these three. And then in this direction. Okay. Now you see how this bead goes to this side and it is closer to the center and has a smoother line and looks better. Okay, and now I'm going to take two beads here and I'm going backwards through this bead. Then I go like this. In the next bead, it's time to add two again, like I did in the opposite side and I'm going backwards and I'm making this line smoother as I go backwards and you could go through more beads backwards to uh, make everything stay nice and even okay whatever you decide and then I take two more and they will be the last two beads from this row. Okay, I'm adding them like this. Then what I want to do is go backwards here. And backwards here. And then I go like this. And like this. And off camera, I will go back and I will smoothen the, up this row here. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. And when I went uh, back and forth, I uh, just uh, smoothened this line to look better. Okay, and now I'm going to make uh, three more hearts, two in silver color and one in pink color, and I will connect them in an earring. 
Okay, how I do this? First, I want to connect two of the hearts together. Okay, like this. As you may see here at this silver heart, I didn't cut this tail thread as well as I didn't cut the tail thread of this pink heart. And now I will show you how I'm sewing them together. I will take my other heart and I want to connect those beads. I will connect the first eight beads of each heart. So it means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. From this one, okay. So I need to connect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I do is that I go through these two. And you see now, uh, if you don't see my thread here, it is, uh, I'm connecting the seventh and the eighth beat from each heart, counting from the bottom of the heart. Okay, the bottom of my heart. It almost sounds poetic. Okay, and you see here I have a loop between the seventh and the eighth beat of these hearts. Okay, then I will continue going through two beads in this direction. Like this, and then backwards through two in this row. Okay, then I connected two more beads together. I will continue in this direction. And here, if it's hard, it's time to use your pliers, okay? Okay. I'm going in these two. Okay, then I go backwards through all of those beads in this direction. And I am connecting the last two like this, like this, and like this. Okay. Now here I will take the other pink and connect it the same way, and then I will take this and connect it the same way. Okay, when I connect those beads, it is absolutely the same thing that I did here. Uh, if you forgot how I'm doing it, rewind the video and repeat it here, here and here, and then meet me at this side. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I just connected my last four beads from this row. And now what I wanna do is make a knot and cut my thread I should tell you that as I was doing uh, this connection, I made a lot of thread repositioning through a lot of beads, but finally I did it. Okay. And now I'm going to cut my thread. Okay, and if you remember, here I left some thread. I didn't cut my thread when I was making it. And now I'm going to use this thread to attach my earring finding. And by the way, if you accidentally cut this thread, you could always add a new thread. If you don't know how to do this, write me in the comments. Okay, and I put needle on this thread. And now I'm going to take two seed beads. Then I'm going to take my earring finding and then I'm going to take two more silver uh, seed beads. Okay, so this is what I have on my needle. And I'm exiting here, guys, one bead away from these beads that are to the inner side. You see where my thread is. 
and then uh, as I took this sequence of beads I'm going in the same place here as the other side. Now I'm going to reinforce this joint here. Okay, and when I'm done with the reinforcement, I will make a knot and cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my romantic clover earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and like and share this video. In this way you help me so much and motivate me to make more and more tutorials. You could check description for a full list of materials, Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me. Link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.